Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Predictions. Week 2, for the first time in the 2020-21 Premier League season, all teams are involved for week 2. Obviously teams like Manchester United and Man City are only kicking off their week 1, so we'll, they will have a catch up game at some point throughout the season, I'm not quite sure when they be able to fit that in, but, you know, a football calendar must be filled, so it will happen at some point. But anyway, 10 games to predict, a lot to do, so guys, let's get straight down to this, a lot to talk about as well. So guys, give us a big up thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So, the first game we're going to talk about is Everton versus West Brom. Everton, you know, beating Tottenham, I think they did, yeah. You know, I do think it stopped them. I could be wrong if I'm, please feel free to correct me in the comments below. You know, they deserve that win. Uh, you know, if you think about the whole of the 90 minutes and, you know, the way they set out and the way the game planned out, it really was a good Everton win. The first time in 10 years, I believe, they beat Tottenham. So, you know, fair play to Everton. Uh, West Brom, on the other hand, can't quite remember how they got on. But, you know, it's good to see West Brom back in the Premier League. Only trouble without no fans. It was a bit of a daunting, you know, game for West Brom, I do think. I think with fans there, it would have made it a lot better. Not only for West Brom and Jalby in itself, but, you know, the spectators also, instead of watching it through a TV screen. Hopefully we're on our way getting fans back into the crowd anyway, but we're going to have to wait and see on that one. But as far as this game goes, I'm going to go for an Everton win, and I'm going to go for a 2-0 Everton win. My next one is two promotion clubs. It's Leeds United versus Fulham. Leeds, you know, doing that excellent game against Liverpool, I think he finished about 4-3. You know, it's very weird seeing four play at the front, you know, fair play to, to Leeds for doing that. But then, you know, I think they could get quite counted a lot throughout the season. Going up against a Philip side who did lose to Arsenal, and it was my watch along live game, or well, one of them across the weekend, and there is more coming up. You know, but I don't think Fulham had a bad game. I do think Fulham deserves something out of that game. I still think it was a bit harsh with a 3 0 scoreline to Arsenal. Going forward to this game, predicting it, I think Leeds will edge it being at home and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Leeds win. My next one, and it's one of my watch-along games for the weekend, is Manchester United versus Crystal Palace. Now, Crystal Palace beating Southampton, you know, in their first league game. Man United did not play in the league, but it did lose 1-0 to Villa, what I've been reading on, so... You know, it's one of them thing. But what I don't get is if Man United playing a friendly one, not just put them straight in the league. I don't get all this, you know, nonsense. Like, oh, you've got a fair day off period. No, if they can play football, they can play. In my opinion, anyway. Go forward to this game. Now, this game has been, you know, quite challenging. Was, last season especially stands out for me with this game. As I said, it's one of the watch long games, so... If you haven't got the TV channel, come over to my channel and we will watch it. Well, you know what watch along is by now. If you don't, you, I'll tell you what's going on. But a bit of my commentary sort of thing. So, you know, but predicting this game, I think it's going to be a draw. I don't think United are going to find it easy. And I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one, and it's another watch along game of mine, is Arsenal versus West Ham. Arsenal, you know, beating oh, um, Fulham for now. You know, um, very much a good pattern of play. West Ham, on the other hand, losing to Newcastle. Yeah, again, watch that game. And West Ham are very poor. I don't know what direction West Ham are trying to go in, but anything like they did against Newcastle, 
I very much see an Arsenal win and I'll go for a 3-1 Arsenal win. My next game is Southampton versus Tottenham. Now Southampton you know, loses to Crystal Palace, Tottenham loses to Everton, so both teams are going to be looking for you know, the three points this time around. As I said, I thought Tottenham were very poor over the 90 minutes. I think Southampton will win this one quite comfortably and, you know, probably win it. And I'll go for a 3 one score life that one. My next one is Newcastle versus Brighton. And yes, there's an Overwatch long game. We did do the Brighton Chelsea game. I don't think Brighton played that badly. Obviously, if you were watching that with me, you would realise that I had the odd technical issue. Hopefully, that'll be sorted, um, you know, for these weekend games. But, you know, let's go forward to the game. Brighton lost to uh, Chelsea, and then Newcastle beat uh, West Ham. <laughs> I'm literally forgetting these teams. Um, but you go forward to that game, and... You know, Newcastle are going to be in a bit of form. Brighton are going to be trying to pick up their first three points of the season. I think Brighton will just about do it. And I'll go for a 2-1 Brighton win. My next one, and it's another watch long game with me. And it'll probably be my last one for the weekend. Unless you want to see one in particular, put it down in the comments below. It's Chelsea versus Liverpool. Chelsea beating Brighton, Liverpool beating Leeds just about. Both teams look very dangerous, you know, when the both form gets going. Chelsea did have, you know, a few players out. I think Liverpool had a couple of players out as well. But, you know, this game is, it always is a tasty fixture. I'll go f for a draw and I'll go for a 2-2 two -two scoreline for that one. My next one is Leicester Burnley. Now, Leicester, I can't remember how they got on. I think they won. Burnley did not play, they are due to play one of the Manchester Cubs. Obviously, that fisher will be played later in the season, as I said at the top of this video. So, you. I think this game, I think Leicester might just edge it, and I'll go for a 1 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Aston Villa versus Sheffield United. Now, Aston Villa, Jack Greenish has signed a new contract. Five years, I believe. So now his future is settled at Villa. Sheffield United did have a disappointing weekend against Wolverhampton. Losing 2-0, I think they're two goals down after just six minutes. Sheffield United, I want to get back on winning terms. They're going to look for their first game, first win of the season. First game? Um, first win of the season. So, you know... This game, I do think it's going to be a bit hard, but I don't think Villa played either. I think Sheffield United will just edge this one, and I'll go for a 2-0 Sheffield United win. Now, my last one for this week is Wolverhampton Wanderers against Manchester City. Wolverhampton Wanderers, as I just said, beat Sheffield United. Manchester City did not play, but yet yeah, Man City are going to want to look at that title. If Wolverhampton got anything to go by in that Sheffield United game and basically, you know, Man City go on and turn up, I think Wolverhampton will win this one by two goals to one. But anyway, guys, I've got to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.